we're going to talk about foraging with the Lenape Native Americans. And the women and the children did a lot of that. Here we have a mortar and a pestle, which is a rock. And this is a log that they burned and chopped with a very sharp stone. So it made a depression so they could pour their corn or their acorns and crush them. Let's see what we can do here. Whoa, that's not easy. So they had a lot of work to do. So they would make a corn mush or they would make flour so they could bake cakes. And there it is, the completed version. So they had corn, the three sisters corn, squash, and beans that they grew. They also like to eat nuts and fruits and berries. And here I have some white acorns and the white oak. And they did not have a lot of tannin. Tannins are a bitter taste. So they would have to learn how to identify the, the white and the red acorns to make the best flour. And here, still growing on Staten Island, we found our black walnuts. And those are really a good treat. And, have, and since they liked Staten Island so much, because we had the beaches and we have seafood, they also foraged for oysters. Look at the size of that. They were foot long oysters at one time. Hard shell clams, scallops, and most important, the quahog shell with a beautiful purple that they would make into beads and then make jewelry or wampum. Okay, so we're foraging right now. I have my basket. And what we're looking at is the American beech tree and its nuts. And they're called beech nuts beech nuts and they are high in protein and fat. The Native Americans would pick them and the kids would probably go along. And if we open it up, look at this. Whoops. We have a three-sided seed. We have the shell, which is prickly. That's how it provides protection in nature. And they would open them up and just eat them. I think this is a little too green right now, but you take the hard shell. No, it's a little green. I can't really do it yet. But they would gather them. They would pop them in their mouths for snacks and when they're hunting, foraging, and bring them back to boil up and make beech nut oil or put in their persimmon, which is a type of dried meat and fruit and nuts, sort of like a trail mix, flattened trail mix. So what you're looking at here, the Lenape love the spice bush. The spice bush, because it has fragrant leaves that they use to boil and make a tea. And look at these beautiful red berries. And the animals depend on them so much too. This is an interesting fruit because it has a lot of protein and not carbohydrates in it. So the Native Americans, the Lenape, would forage for this tree, the black birch. And that's a very large black birch tree. Uh, it was uh, probably planted, I would say, like maybe 50 years ago by the birds, not by the Lenape. But this twig is so wonderful. And if you have the chance of scraping it a bit, it smells like root beer. Or birch beer was a type of root beer. Or some, sometimes people say it smells like peppermint. But the Native Americans used it as a chew or to to clean their teeth like a toothbrush. It was refreshing and healthy to do. You're looking at a sprig 
of a white pine tree and its needles. It has five needles and the Lenape would forage for the white pine needles to make a tea if they weren't feeling well. And it also has the properties of aspirin, believe it or not, nature's medicine.